We are gearing up for the Texas Tribune Festival this weekend. It's being billed as Woodstock for public <laughs> policy wonks. Uh, but you can bet there will be a lot of talk about political turnover in Texas and the stuff that it's about to experience. Brian Sweeney knows a little bit about it. He's the senior executive editor for Texas Monthly and just wrapped up a cover story, which we see behind us, on our attorney general and candidate for governor, Greg Abbott. It is on stands now. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Happy to be here, as always. So on the cover, we see Greg Abbott. He's got his rifle in tow. Uh, he's got some wilderness land behind him. Right. <laughs> what do we know about Greg Abbott? What did you learn about him yeah. through writing this article? Well, this, this was a terrific article to write. I was able to get a lot of access with him in terms of meetings, being on the campaign trail, and then seeing him in more casual moments like this. Mm -hmm. I actually went uh, shooting with him and some of his friends from high school. Yeah. I think this is an image that that he's very eager to present uh, sort of a very rugged and sort of tough image. Some, guns are something that he grew up with right. uh, and something that he continues to be interested in to this day. Uh, I also think that he wants to really convey the fact that he is a conservative's conservative. Though he has been the Attorney General since 2002, a recent poll showed that 51% of Texas voters really didn't know very much about him. Uh -huh. So I think one of the things that he's trying to do is say, you know, look at the issues that I have been working on as Attorney General. I've defended the Ten Commandments monument at the Capitol. I've been attacking the Barack Obama administration for federal overreach. Mm -hmm. I've been a staunch supporter of Second Amendment rights. You know, so not surprisingly, the exact type of issues you would expect the Republican nominee for governor to be uh, uh, running on. Certainly. Uh, he is largely considered a front runner for the governor's right. office. He's raised a lot of money. Tom Pockin, another Republican right. candidate. Opposite them, the Democrats have their own set of heroes, right. uh, one of which is Wendy Davis. And I know this uh, magazine touches a little bit on her as well. Yeah, we, we actually wrote a big cover story about her and the Democratic movement in Texas in August, and there's a little bit in my story as well. I mean, we're waiting to see what the Democrats are going to do. As of right now, we haven't had any major Democratic's, Democratic politicians declare yet for candidacy. The expectation is certainly that Senator Davis is going to uh, declare and, and run for governor. That's an interesting dynamic because I think you have to go way, way, way back for the Democratic base to be truly excited about a nominee. I don't think it was Bill White. I don't think it was Chris Bell. I don't think it was Tony Sanchez. Mm -hmm. You could make the argument that you've got to go all the way back to 1990 with Ann Richards before mm -hmm. there really was a dynamic, charismatic figure who had captured the imagination of the electorate. Mm -hmm. And even that was a very difficult race. That She sort of sneaked past Clady Williams in part because of his own flubs. So I think the path for her is very, very difficult. I think the fact that the Democrats are going to try to get into the game so shows signs of life that have been virtually non-existent at the statewide level, right. but I also think that the pathway that General Abbott has going forward looks very, very clear. Texas is not only a Republican state, it is a conservative Republican state, and I think he's worked hard to burnish those credentials. A lot of political figures, obviously, this weekend at the Tribune Festival. Um, Senator Cruz, Wendy Davis, right. Greg Abbott will all be a part of it, and you are I'm hosting ho a panel. I I'm hosting a panel Saturday morning on higher education in 2038, which features Tom Pawkin, who is running against Greg Abbott for the Republican nomination, uh, and also uh, University of Houston President and Chancellor Renew Couture, uh, among others. I think it'll be a terrific panel. I hope people can attend. Brian Sweeney from Texas Monthly Thank Magazine. You. Thank you so Thanks. much for I being here. It. Thank you, my friend. Absolutely. Have fun this weekend. Thank you. You can get information on the Texas Tribune Festival schedule, tickets, and more online right now at kxan.com. That Texas Monthly issue is out with its October issue today.